we're back in Mexico and continuing our journey to visit every state. And the next state in our list is actually the smallest state in Mexico if you don't count Mexico City. But within the state lies arguably one of the most unique towns in the country. And if you didn't know any better, you may think we're in Tuscany right now. This medieval town is the perfect place to spend the day. This is Valkirico. Hello travelers and welcome back to Tourist to Local. As you guys know, we're on a goal to visit every state in the USA and Mexico as a way of getting to know each other's cultures better. And today we're on our ninth state, Tlaxcala. We're in Valkirico and this is a place that not all of my friends and family have heard of. As Yulena said, it's in Tlaxcala and it's only 20 minutes away from the city of Puebla. So let's start exploring. Valkerico is to go back in time, to a time that never actually existed. Despite the distressed doors and old looking cobblestone, this town is actually a housing development that opened to the public in 2015, which means, yep, this is all artificially made like a theme park. This place is trippy. We just stepped off our off of our Uber and all of a sudden we're in this medieval town. This is the weirdest thing. I feel like I'm in Epcot or something. This is I've never seen a place in the world like this that's trying to copy somewhere else. It looks so old, but it's like, it was made in 2015, so cool. The name Valkirico is short for Valle de Quirico, and it was chosen to honor the Tuscan town of San Quirico d'Orce. One thing we kept asking ourselves during our time here was why. Why is there a European-inspired town being built in the middle of Mexico? Turns out the idea for this came to one of the town's shareholders during a trip to Tuscany. The idea was to create a space that prioritizes quality of life and community. Before Valcarico was created, this complex was the former Hacienda Santa Aguida. In 1900, it was Latin America's largest pasteurizing facility, but it eventually became uninhabited. However, by 2014, this former hacienda's early 18th century remains were renovated and an entirely new town called Valcarico was established in 2015. So I'm really excited to start walking around here more and exploring some of these little corridors that are Valkirico. But first things first, we gotta eat. And we found this really cute little restaurant in one of the side shoots of the street. And it's called La Route de Vin. In Valkirico, there are 18 restaurants with many different gastronomy offerings including French, Spanish, Mexican, Argentinian, and Italian. This specific restaurant focused on French cuisine, and their breakfast did not disappoint. This place is so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's a European spire. Yeah, and like honestly, I was telling Martin, like, if he would have told me like there was a group of Italian settlers who came here, like this is a medieval town, I would have believed it. This was made in 2015. What? Yeah. It's a little scary how good of a job they did. And also, <laughs> if you're interested to live over here, you can. Actually, there's like an office with the... Uh, Give all the information if you want to live over here. Honestly? It could be a possibility. Yeah, it kind of sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I think this is the kind of town that you have a lazy Sunday, you know? You eat something, you buy something, you just walk very slow, enjoy your Sunday. This is the kind of town to do it. We really enjoyed walking in and out of the various shops here. There was a candle shop we loved, tons of artisan crafts, jewelry, and quite a few art galleries as well. Now when you look at a map, this place actually isn't that big, but the way that it's designed is to encourage you to walk around, go around different corners, see what there is, and to be honest, I'm totally lost. I have no clue <laughs> where we are, but every place we just keep turning, we just discover more little courtyards, restaurants, shops. I really like it. Right now we're in the Zocalo and I really like it because it has like a mix of different things, you know? Over there, there's a German bar, over here there's like Casa Taurina, some Spanish dishes, and over there they sell pulque and mezcal, and an Irish pub over here. <laughs> The 
illusion is ruined. <laughs> They're constructing over here another park. It's lunchtime, and I don't know about you, but I've been craving Italian food. <laughs> oh yeah, for a long time. So we found this nice Italian restaurant, and the menu is insane. It's very good. So, so good. It's called Nuc Vermuteria. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard for us to find, uh, but it was right next to the carousel. That's, That's the right. landmark. <laughs> This pasta is so good. Oh my gosh, I love the like pistachio Sorry. dust on top. So what do you guys think about Valkyrico? You will come here, no? Yeah, I thought it was awesome personally. I had a great time and we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.